What up folks, Alex here, welcome to Mr. Alex Tech. And in this five minute Friday tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create that real cool magic unboxing style transition. It's a really cool effect for doing any sort of product demonstrations or unboxing or anything like that. And it's incredibly easy to do in DaVinci Resolve providing you get everything right in camera first. So before we get into it, a few quick tips. Number one, make sure that your camera is set up on a tripod. It needs to be set up on a sturdy tripod so it doesn't move throughout the shot. You also want to make sure to use some consistent lighting. So natural lighting doesn't work too well. Any sort of studio setup or even just some bog standard light bulbs will do the trick. Then you want to make sure that you've got manual exposure and manual focus as well so that nothing changes throughout the shot. Then all you need to do, point your camera at your subject and leave it just to get 10 seconds worth of footage with nothing moving whatsoever and then make the change. So in this instance we're just going to remove the cover from the car making sure not to move the car at all and then we're just going to continue recording for another 10 seconds and that's it. Then you can open up DaVinci Resolve and we can make the magic happen. So let me show you how. So here we are, we're in DaVinci Resolve from the Edit tab and I've got my footage already set up on my timeline. So as you can see, we've got the camera here, stationary without the lens, and then I just reach in, attach the lens without moving the camera, and then we've got a few seconds of the camera with the lens attached. So the first thing we need to do is just to cut out that middle section of me attaching the lens. So I'm just going to move my playhead just before we actually reach in. I like to go back again just a second or two to give myself a nice buffer either side. And then we're just going to use Control B on our keyboard to do a quick cut. We're then going to move our playhead to after this section. Again, just keep going about a second or two. And then we're going to do the same thing, Control and B, to do another cut. And then in this middle section here, we're just going to give it a click to highlight it in red and then hit the Delete key, which is our ripple delete, to delete that and bring those two clips together. Now if we hit play, we go from this straight to this. So we've got a nice simple cut. Next up, we just need to add a transition. So open up the effects library, go to your video transitions that are in the toolbox, and then the one I recommend starting with is a simple cross dissolve. So grab a cross dissolve, put that on your edit point like so, and then if we hit play, we've got a real simple cross dissolve like so, and the lens magically appears. As easy as that. If it's a little bit quick, all you need to do, lengthen that transition out and that will slow the effect down, giving you something that looks a little bit like that. Give the transition a click, open up the inspector in the top right hand corner, go to the transitions tab and there's a few options in there you can also have a play around with. So you can change the style of the cross dissolve, so we've got video, film, additive, etc. Just play with those, see which ones work best for you. And then you've also got the ease, so at the moment it's a linear transition, there's no speed ramping, but if you want to you can change the easing to in, out or in and out. Again, have a play with them until you've got something that works for you. Now at the moment, because we had our camera on a tripod, it's a completely locked off shot, so there's no movement in it. And we want to add some fake camera movement to really sell the effect. And we're going to do that using an adjustment clip. So still within the effects library, come down to the effects, and then grab an adjustment clip and we're going to put that on the track above our footage so video track number two for me we'll lengthen that adjustment clip out give it a click open the inspector come down to the dynamic zoom and then just toggle that on and then underneath your preview window you should see this little box here click on the drop down and go to the dynamic zoom now the green box is your starting point and the red box is your end point so without changing anything, I'm just going to go back and hit play. And you can see now, it's just going to do a real nice slow zoom out. It's going to affect all of the clips and the transition. So we've got this really nice effect. If we wanted to do a pan rather than a zoom, all we need to do, drag this red box to be the same size as the green, like so. Then we're going to move the red box over to the right, the green over to the left. And then if we just come back onto our timeline, hit play. We've now got a left to right pan instead. Now here's another example. I've got the RC car here. So we're just going to find that point again. There it is. So we're going to control and B to the end, control and B. We'll delete this middle section. And this time, rather than using a cross dissolve, we're going to go to the video transitions. We're going to come down to the wipe area. And that's who I recommend you play with here is the center wipe and the edge wipe. So I'm going to grab a center wipe. I'm just going to put that on there like so. And then if we hit play, 
it's going to do something like that. But it's a little bit quick, so we want to slow that down by just dragging it out. And we'll hit play again. That's looking a little better, but it's still a bit harsh because we've got a real harsh edge there. So what we're going to do, give the transition a click. Again, within the inspector, within the transitions area, you've got angle here. So we can change the angle to go from top to bottom or left to right. I'm going to leave mine as it is for now. And then we've also got this feather tick box. So if we just tick the tick box in feather and then increase the border, we can soften this edge here. Give it a real nice soft edge. And then if we hit play, we've got this great looking magic reveal. And then all we need to do, grab an adjustment clip again, enable the dynamic zoom, set either a nice slow zoom in or zoom out or pan, and you've got yourself a real great cool looking shot. And that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. If you've got any thoughts or feedback, please do leave them down in the comments section below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Thanks ever so much for watching, folks. You take care. I'll catch you next time. See ya.